Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning. Joe and Kim Palo with you, and we are now joined by Jeremy Jarvis of Corp Tech IT Solutions. Real quick, Jennifer, can you put up our weather forecast one more time so we can let the folks see? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw you a curveball. Although the World Series does start tonight, so apropos. All right, weather forecast for today. Rain, rain, and more rain. High of 53, low of 42. Chance of rain tomorrow, but a very slim chance with a high of 56, low of 39. And then Friday, as we said, sunny skies, high 62 degrees, low 37. Currently, it's 52 degrees. Uh, but it is going to rain all day, so take your umbrella and be careful as you drive around uh, Cleveland. As I said, Jeremy Jarvis of Corp Tech IT Solutions is with us today in the house. And Jeremy's going to talk about... Uh, IT solutions. Well, he could be your new best friend. I mean, if this you, guy, if you I'm have telling a computer you, folks, that you want to throw at least once a day. You don't want I, to. I say bad things to my computer. God <laughs> bless it. It's not its fault. It's user. It's the right. user problem. Right. But uh, Jeremy is the man, and he can he can help you through it. Jeremy, thank you so much for being with us. Man. Hey, I'm glad to be on the show. Definitely. Uh, we talked the other day. I, we, I was telling everybody we did a little infomercial that'll be running, and you'll see more about IT solutions. But I mean, uh, Corp Tech IT solutions. But tell us about what we talked about on, in the infomercial. I mean, basically all the things you guys do in every way you can help the people watching with not just their computers, but just even stuff at their house, like even their, their surveillance system. You even do that. Right. Well, we do, uh, we do a lot of different things. Uh, whenever I started the company out, people were bringing me, I was a school teacher teaching this stuff to high school kids. Uh, but I've been in IT, I've been IBM certified since 1991. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while back um, since I've been certified. I've actually got CompTIA certifications and Microsoft certifications and so on. But what we do for the average individual, the average individual calls us up and say they got a flat panel TV. And they're like, okay, I've got a flat panel TV and I want to be able to hook my computer to it. Okay, well not only will we install that flat panel television, hook up all your stereo system and make everything work the way your surround sound does what it's supposed to do. But we'll also show you how to actually take your laptop running HDMI cables or VGA cables or whatever you want to do. Or even take a computer like at Hulko Exteriors. We actually, when you walk in their showroom, they've got a television sitting there. And uh, they've got this nice, huge fireplace mantle. Well, if you look real closely behind that TV, there's a computer mounted behind that television. Oh, wow. Uh. And so what they do is, is their marketing person will go in there and they will hook up on that computer. And they'll go to the network and they'll pull the latest commercials. And they'll run them on that television no kidding and so when you walk in there you got these tv commercials that are playing and you're wondering how are they doing that well they're and it's played it. through the computer it's played through the computer no kidding oh yeah it's pretty cool it's like having a gigantic monitor connected to it and everybody's like well where's the keyboard <laughs> like, well, that's magic we won't let you know that it's part. magic <laughs> that's right. it's yeah. all magic to me with the computer <laughs> it's all magic Woo! <laughs> like. uh, we do have several companies uh down in Alabama, especially, we started a company in Alabama and moved a division of it up here uh, four years ago. We cover Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee. But uh, one of the things about uh, our specialty thing that we do is surveillance systems. We actually build PC-based surveillance systems that you can monitor from your smartphone or you can monitor from just hopping on the web. Oh, wow. You can rem if you have a static IP address, <clears throat> what that means is, is like when you go online, you get on the internet, it's kind of like your home address, you know, it's like, you know, one, two, three, A, B, C, way, or whatever. Well, your IP address is a set of numbers. And if it's statically assigned, that means that it's physically, your internet service provider gives you a set of numbers that never change. Well, if you have that set of numbers, then you can actually remotely control your surveillance system. Oh, and literally, wow. you, can re you can remote into it to where you can see all the cameras, you can play it back, you can see the things. The only thing is you can't get the audio. Like if you have audio on it, you won't be able to get the audio to stream for you. But there is a, actually a few other little apps that we can do to where you can actually monitor it and, you know, you monitor it real time, but you can actually probably get the audio as well. It's a little more tricky and most people don't want to pay that expense. Right. But the big thing is, is like if you're smart, you have a smartphone like an iPhone or an Android phone, you can actually put an app on your phone and view your system. Wow. Um, a lot of customers will call us after they've been robbed, you know, and because right. it's like, well, I really need a surveillance system, but um, one of the customers that we take care of is Preferred Pharmacy uh, that's in Benton. And one of the system, the system we put in there for them, they were like, you know, we've been robbed and we need to do something about this door. And so we put a surveillance system in for them. And the cameras that we use are actually vandal proof cameras. Uh, some of them are actually bulletproof. You can shoot them with a nine millimeter, watch the bullet come at the lens and bounce off. Wow. <laughs> so it's kind of unique. Uh, the Alabama Bureau of Investigations, I actually have a guy named Russell Yon that works for the ABI. 
he is kind of like my go-to guy because he called me up one day and he goes, uh, hey, he says, you put the surveillance system in over at Benny's Mini March down in Talladega, didn't you? I said, yeah. He goes, well, I just want to tell you, that's the best video I've ever seen in my life. What happened was a guy was trying to rape a clerk there, and we have the audio and the video from all the cameras, and the police shot him and killed him oh in the store. Goodness. And you can watch the bullets go in his head and come out. No kidding. From the camera system, yeah. Just being so, so... Uh, just the clarity of the camera. Clarity of the... Yeah, usually when you see somebody on a surveillance system... Right, it's so grainy. It's Bigfoot, you know what I mean? It's yeah, still absolutely. got a big blurry blob right. running. Right, right, right. We don't use anything less than 480 line resolution cameras. And the reason we don't... The reason for that is is because our cameras are day, night, and they're 480 line resolution. You get a higher quality picture. And the higher quality of the picture, of course, whenever you're playing it back, you want the highest quality. Right. But the cool thing is, is you can take snapshots of the actual video as well. And so that's one of the things that we offer, you know, is just for the actual home user or actually for the, the business, it's a surveillance system. And well, you hate to think that you that you need those, but it, right. in this di day and time, I mean, that's and that I is say. it. And that is the number one, I guess, um, you know, you, say, and, you know, and I'm a big crime buff. I read and, and watch the shows on TV. And now, I mean, almost all businesses and the solving of a lot of crimes come through those surveillance cameras, you know, that are outside the buildings or even down the street sometimes exactly. that, that, that they have everywhere. Big Brother is everywhere these days. So. Yeah, that's very true. So, yes. but uh, you know the good ones and you know how to do it right, right? You're not yeah. going to be playing around and putting a system out there that's going to, it's going to capture something, but you're not going to get a whole lot of detail from it. Right. Well, the big thing is, is the, the the higher quality cameras. I mean, you know, you're going to get what you pay for, number right. one. But number two is, is the systems that we build, they come with like a three-year warranty. Some of them come with a five-year warranty wow. on the cameras as well. So, I mean, like we're one of the only companies out there that will actually build you a system with a three to five-year warranty on it. And that covers like anything that goes wrong with it. But we build them on a PC. It's not like when you go buy a DVR. The DVR is like, it looks like a VCR with little controls on it. Well, whenever something goes bad on that system, unless it's the hard drive, you have to throw it away and buy another one. Right. Well, on a PC, it's just like a computer. You know, mm -hmm. it is a computer, literally. So let's say the motherboard breaks. Well, we just replace the motherboard. Hard drive goes bad. We replace the hard drive. You know, something like that. You just swap out the part and you're back right. on track. You're not missing a beat. So uh, it's a lot better to build one on a PC base. A lot of people don't like it. They're like, oh, the expense, oh, this, oh, that. Or somebody built me one. I hear that a lot. Well, you know, I had such and such build me a surveillance system. I'm like, well, do they do that for a living? Well, no. I said, it's just like computer repair. I had such and such fix my computer. Really? <laughs> and where do they work? <laughs> you know, oh, the, the, Texaco. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And so you're, it, it's kind of like, uh, it would be just like building your house. It's like, I had the guy build me a house. Really? Where does he work? <laughs> oh, well, he's the football coach at, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm a retard university or something. I don't know. <laughs> so you're like, yeah, okay. No wonder your floor looks like this. So, yeah. But uh, Well, let me ask you this, though, Jeremy. Now, we talk about the, the surveillance systems, obviously, you know, for, for home and, and for, uh, for commercial but, and, and computers, but that's not all that you do. You mentioned uh, with the home theater systems, and I know <clears throat> we talked about that. You install complete home theater systems uh, in people's homes. You right. will wire it up to be in different rooms or whatever. I mean, yeah. it, there, there's virtually nothing in that field that you guys don't take care of. So, so tell us all the things that you do from start to finish. I mean, we talk computers and surveillance, but talk about the home theater systems and, and all the other things you do, just so folks can get an idea of the vast things that you, that you do there. And the home theater system side of things, I mean, there's several different levels of home theater system. I mean, you know, from the fact of just mounting the TV on the wall, you know, uh, cutting holes in the wall and putting jacks on the wall and actually running all your components through, uh, then, of course, wiring the speakers. Uh, the best thing that we can do is, like, catch it before you build your house before the sheetrock goes up, because then we can actually rough in all the wiring. When we put all the wiring in, the big thing with putting the wiring in is not only can we put the wire in for the build that you're doing right then, we can put the wiring in also for later on. Uh, like one example is some people want to have multiple televisions in their, in their house, and they want to be able to feed in on the same, the same cable line. Well, that's fine if you're using a cable line. If you're using, D, if you're using a, like a direct TV system or whatever, then you're going to have to have a box per, per television, so right. to speak. And same thing if you use the Uverse. I mean, Uverse gives you a box per television. So you have to compensate for that as well whenever you're wiring that into the house. Um, so that's one of the things that we do is like we can actually come in and give you a preliminary plan before you build your house. And then we can give you an idea of, you know, like what it's going to cost you to do it, cable and everything else. And then we can find, figure out what you want to do. Because some people are into... Um, when they wire their house, they want to have their, their systems hardwired in to a network interface because most televisions have like a, have Netflix or whatever built into right. it. 
So what we can do is we can actually run data cable at the same time to where we tie that back into your, where your, your router comes into your house and you plug all your data cables into that switch in that router and then you're able to take your televisions and hook them physically to the internet. You know, and that way you don't have to have a separate device running your right, internet service right, back right. On, the, right. on the back side of it as well. Um, of course, you know, HDMI can run up to 100 feet. Uh, so we can run HDMI cables up to 100 feet. Some people like to have a control room. Like a control room is like a room in your house that you walk into and it has like everything sitting there. It has your DVD player. It has all these different equipments. Now, we don't sell those pieces of equipment, right. but we have people that do sell them. And what we can do is we can actually take and point you in the right direction to get the equipment that you want. And you, instead of using infrared remote that you have to be in front of the TV, you use the RF remote. And the RF remote allows you to stand in the living room and change the channel in your bedroom or whatever, you know, which is really fun when you really want to mess with somebody. Right, right. The game's on. You're I, would, I know. I would never get to watch what I wanted to do because he's mad about that anyway. He'll come and bring I'll his remote in, in and he'll stand, stand in the hall and the shoot it thing. from the mirror and then I change right. the channel. And and yeah. won't let me hear. It's, That's a lot of fun. He's a barrel of wax, I'm telling you. That <laughs> if you have your camcorder with you at the time, you know, uh, right. <laughs> probably get you a few thousand dollars off America's Funniest. That's right. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, there's so many things, as I was telling before, we, when we first went on about when I was introducing that you were going to be here, uh, about the gentleman that brought in the fan from his TV that didn't work, and you just took another fan and rewired it and fixed it for him, and he was on his way. So virtually, if someone, if they have a problem with something if he in has, that realm. If it has power. <laughs> yeah, well, they need to give you a call and ask you, look, first of all, can you fix this and then go from there? Right. Well, I'll tell you, the big thing I can tell people is this. I mean, we don't work on televisions. We don't work on printers. I mean, because let's face it. I mean, if you're going to spend, if you bring me an inkjet printer, you can Just buy an all-in-one printer for a hundred right. bucks. Right. right. You pay my labor rate to fix your printer, and <laughs> it's just probably not going to be economical. Right. Uh, I actually had one of the machine, one of the companies that does uh, office machines and stuff. I had a machine, and I was like, man, I really need this. I need this drum assembly repaired. I don't want to buy a whole new drum. It's got a gear broke in it. Can we fix that? Oh yeah, we can fix it. I was like, well, what's it going to cost me? Oh, 250 bucks. I'm like, well, my God, the, the whole printer wasn't but 300 I mean, come on. <laughs> the point of economic feasibility just got thrown out the door, right, you know, right. and I'm like, okay. There's so many things that are just yeah, throwaways. They They're just, I mean, and if Nowadays. you want one of those, we have them in our garage at home because Joe thinks that we're going to get all those things fixed. Well, I just, I like to keep them. I like to be a, uh, I'm, a I'm a a connoisseur of old stuff and keeping it uh, around. I feel like now. you're running Sanford and Son. Right, a little bit like that, a little bit like that. Yes. I tell her all the Although time. Although we don't, we don't put it out. That's right. Just keep it. We, we just keep, keep it in it. A, keep it in a little, get, just let it, it collect it. dust. Right, right. Um, but real quick, Jeremy, uh, Jennifer, do we have time to take a break and come back and finish talking to Jeremy? Okay, let's do that. Let's take a break. Let's come back. Let's get your phone number when we come back, the address, let everybody know how they can get in touch with you on the web, the whole thing, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll close this thing out. We're going to be back with more Jeremy Jarvis from Corp Tech IT Solutions in just a few. Stay tuned. Would you like to look and feel better? If so, then visit the Ford Center for Anti-Aging, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. Dr. Ford has been serving Cleveland and the surrounding area since 1984. He is a licensed physician with the Board of Anti-Aging Medicine, offering affordable Botox injections. Botox is a medication that is used to treat dynamic wrinkles such as crow's feet, forehead lines, and frown lines. In addition to Botox therapy, rejuvenate and smooth wrinkled skin. The micro laser peel treats skin conditions associated with aging and active lifestyles. If you're looking for safe and affordable anti-aging treatment, call the Ford Center for Anti-Aging at 423-614-0535, located at 2020 Key Street Northwest. I'm Byron Winters with Landmark Insurance Brokerage. Contact me for all of your business insurance needs. From general liability to workers' comp, commercial auto, and business umbrellas, Landmark Insurance has you covered. 
Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland, is your number one Dodge Chrysler and Jeep dealer in this area. Stop by and see the brand new 2011 Chrysler 200. The 200 is essentially a new nameplate with a significant facelift to the outgoing 2010 Chrysler Sebring. A beautiful vehicle at an unbeatable price. And while you're there, check out the all new Jeep Grand Cherokee and the newly designed Dodge Durango. Redesigned, revamped, and reinvigorated. Yes, the Dodge. Dodge Durango is back, bigger and better than ever. Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep offers a complete parts and service department with qualified service technicians to fix and repair your vehicle. So for your next brand new or pre-owned vehicle, make it Kyle Dodge Chrysler Jeep, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning. We got just a couple of minutes left. Again, it's Wednesday rain, so drive carefully. Take an umbrella with you today. Uh, we have Jeremy Jarvis from Corp Tech IT Solutions with us, and Jeremy's been talking about the different things they can do for you, uh, and and he's going to tell us right now how to get in touch with him and how you can uh, can give him a call and talk to him about anything. He'll if he can fix it, he will. Yeah. So real quick, Jeremy, tell us uh, your. Where are you located in your phone number? Okay, we are located at 4009 Key Street. Uh, if you know where Intimate Secrets and Logan's and Tinsley Park is, we're right there in the Parkwood Business Center, big black and white building. Uh, you probably have seen our black and yellow road signs around that say PC and laptop repair or $25 off computer services. You can call our office at 321-2781. Uh, you can also check out our website. It's corptech, C-O-R-P-T-E-K dot C-C. Think of computer company. And uh, you can go online and actually find out how to get in touch with us there. Uh, We'll be glad to be able to take care of anything you have computer-wise. You can even call us and we'll even talk you through stuff over the phone. And we can, you know, kind of give you some troubleshooting ideas over the phone if, as well. So, uh, and they are they extend further than just pushing the off button, just turning it off. And oh yeah, it back he'll up. give you. He, he'll, he'll fix he can you. Go up. Further. Yeah, he'll fix you. <laughs> Jeremy, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. I'm glad. And I uh, hope folks uh, will, will think about you when they have their next problem because he's the man that can fix it. Uh, we've had a great morning. Hope you'll have a good day today for Joe and Kim. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday on Tennessee Valley This Morning. Remember, drive carefully and take an umbrella today. Do that. Remember, Thursday night at Las Margaritas, 8 o'clock.